Hi everybody, welcome to Dandelion Cottage and Paper Crafting Saturday. I'm Leslie Watkins. I hope everybody's doing well this weekend and you're excited to have a, uh, a nice crafting session with me later today with the 12 weeks of Christmas. Before we get to that, I thought it would be fun to do a quick little project with the painted pheasant stamp set. And it looks like this, perfect for Thanksgiving. I've got a piece of the Fluid 100 watercolor paper. And I've already got my stamp mounted here. This is a, a half sheet, just a scrap. And I'm just going to get my pheasant inked up. There it is. Okay, and now I'm going to use my water painter. And I'm just going to use the ink that's already on my card. I'm just going to squeeze out a little bit of water. Get that ready. So there we go. And using using the ink that I just stamped onto the paper. I'm just going to moisten it slightly so that I can use it to do a little painting with. Now I don't want to lose the texture of the bird so I'm being careful not to smooth it out too much. I want to keep all these little specks and stripes And it's wing. So you can see that with just a little bit of ink, I can get a very nice effect and give my stamped image more of a hand painted look with just a couple of strokes. All right, so in less than five minutes. There we go. All right, so that so that is with the Sahara sand ink. Now you can add a little bit of color to that. So I'm just going to grab. Let's see what do I have here. I've got some red, and I've got some soft succulent. I'm just grabbing whatever is in front of me here. Here's some evening evergreen and I'm going to use some Cajun craze. Actually instead of the evening evergreen I'm going to switch that out. Let's keep it simple. So I've got three colors here. I've got real red, Cajun craze, and, sh and shaded spruce. So I'm going to start with my shaded spruce and I just have a couple of drops of ink on the top of my stamp pad here. And I'm just going to put a little bit of color on his neck. Now these are ring-necked pheasants, so you want to keep that nice white ring that's so distinctive of the bird. I'm just checking to make sure that you can hear me. That looks good. Add a little bit more. Here we go. 
Now I have a paper towel to the side here and I can just use that to squeeze the green out of my brush. Now I want my red, this is real red, and I'm just going to add a little bit of red around the eye. Again, I'm going to need a little more water. And just gently get that like so. All right. And then finally, I have my crate my Cajun craze. And I just want to give that body a little bit of extra color. So I'm just adding it under the wing, a little on the chest. There we go. All right, so not much, just a few strokes. All right, so there's my pheasant. All right, next, I'm going to put my inks away. And I'm just going to snip and snip around the the chest or the breast under its chin and I'm just making my way around the the top of the bird These little feathers. The tail feathers. All right, now as I as I come down along the back here, I want to make my way to just under the tail, and then I'm I'm going to cut out a, a shape. It looks something like that. 
make it just a take that point off of there. All right, so there there's my pheasant. I'm going to use my bone folder to just give it a little more shape like so. And then in the in the set I I also have this happy thanksgiving. And for that I'm going to see if I can find a little piece of scrap paper here. Let's see what I've got on my desk. Here we go. Here's a piece of very vanilla. And going back to my Cajun craze, give that a little stamp. Let me cut that out. Now what I have ready to go is this cute little box and I made this using the Cajun Craze cardstock and this will fit a couple of Hershey's Kisses or maybe some candy corn or whatever treat it is that you are using for the holidays. And I'm just going to take my pheasant and add a little bit of glue, just adding some glue on the bottom portion like so. And I'm going to adhere him to the front of my box. I'll just hold that in place for a moment. And I have some dimensionals here and I'm just going to put three, maybe I'll just put two on the back of my Happy Thanksgiving. Put that right side up. I have a helper. <laughs> Hello, Princess Sophia Maria. Thank you for helping. So here is a cute little treat box that you can use at a place setting at your Thanksgiving table. Just close that up. And it'll, it'll stand very nicely in place for your guest. And today, in the 12 weeks of Christmas, I'm going to show you how you can make a box like this using the tree lot dies and that cute little camper. So I made one a while ago, and it looks something like this. It was very popular. But today we're going to change it up a little bit so that it is a Christmas theme camper. All right, so if you'd like to join us, the classroom is private. You do have to register, but there's no charge. It's free. You just sign up for the 12 weeks of Christmas. So if you look on my Facebook page or my YouTube channel, you will find the link in the descriptions for the 12 weeks of Christmas. So go ahead and um, register for that and you will receive an invitation to join the online classroom. And every Saturday from 1230 till 
um, whatever. It's just a short little mini class, so maybe 1 o'clock, 1, 1 15. We'll be making a new project each week until December 10th. So please um, check that out. I'd love to see you there. There's a lot of really great videos that you can look at your convenience and get lots of ideas. Stay well, stay happy, stay creative, and I will see you in class.